Hello everyone. Welcome to the second lecture on the dynamic programming. In this lecture, we will see how you can solve the various problems related to this uh, optimization problem. Myself, Dr. Gar. What we will see in there, we will see how you can solve these two problems. Uh, what is the objective of these two problems are there? You can see that the objective of this is the maximization, where the objective is the multiply sign. While in this second example, you can see it's a minimization, while the objective, while the constants are of the product sign. So how you can solve such kind of the problems uh, very in a very efficient manner. So let's discuss the first part, first example is that we will follow the same rule as we discussed in our last videos related to this dynamic programming. So first of what is the rule is that you have to firstly think how many x1, x2 and x3 are there. So since it is my three x1 are there, so we can consider as the three stage problem. So our target is to find define s1, s2 and s3. What is the S3 is there? Whatever you have the constraint, this is my S3. So you can write like here. Now what is the S2 is? From here, whatever the variable which consists of the X1 and X2, that is my X2 here. What is the X, S1 is? The variable from here which consists of the X1 only, that is my here. For example, if your constraints are like of this, say, then what is your S3 is? This is my S3 here. What is my S2 is? The variable which consists of the X1 and X2. What is the X1 is? The variable consists of the X1 only. Now in this example, what is the value of this? This is nothing but my 10. So it is given to you. Now what is the value of this? Can you find this value of here is? This is nothing but my S3 minus X3 or you can also find like this way, this is the 10 minus x3, that's depending upon you, whether you want to use s3 or the 10 minus. How you find the value of this from here? This is nothing but x2 minus of here. Now once you are defining these constraints are there, now we can look about the objective function. So for this objective function, we denote f1, s1 corresponding to this s1, f2 and so on. Now my problem is maximization, so I can write here as the maximization in each problem. Now x1, that is a variable consists of the only x1. This is x2 means the variable consists of the x1, x2 both. So look at the objective function, the variable which consists of the only x1, this is x1. x1 and x2 variable consists of the x1 and x2 both. Here variable consists of the x1, x2 and x3 all are there. So this is Max, since my problem is maximization, so I can write as maximization. X1 lies between 0 to domain R there. Similarly, we can define the second one. Maximization X2 lies between 0 to S2. What is the value of the X1 and X2 are here? This. Similarly, for this third part, say, as say, same we have defined here. Now we can substitute the value of the X1. What is the value of the X1 here is? S2 minus of this. I can define the equation number 1. Now we can define, we can write this value here. What is the value of the x1? This is nothing but f1 x1. So I can write like here. This is the x2 as, as such. What is the value of the x1 is? Instead of writing the s2 minus x2, we can define in terms of the function. Similarly for here, what is the value of the x1 x2? That is the product of the value is my f2 s2. So I can write like here. Now my task is to solve these three equations. So we can start with the equation number one. So from equation one, we can see our target is to solve with respect to x1. But this part is independent of this x1. So it means this is the optimal solution. We can substitute this f1, s1 in here. So what is will happen? This is there. Now your target is to maximize them. How you maximize this function? Whenever there is a maximization, we always take as a derivative should be zero. Second derivative should be less than zero. So we will do the same thing. We will consider this as say y and then our target is to find the second derivative with respect to x2 is 0 and the second first derivative should be 0, second is less than 0. What is the first derivative of this? Once you will do that, you can find this expression and after simplify you will get this here. Clearly says that s2 by 2 lies in the domain r here and also you can see the second derivative of this is minus of 2 which is less than 0 so that some maximization is possible. Now since my domain is the closed interval, so you have to find the maximum value at all these. There is a boundary points, this and these are called as my boundary points and the this point is called as my 
critical point b critical point is that is where the second first derivative is zero so what is the value of this y when x2 is zero so you can find them when x2 is a zero this part is a zero when x2 is by s by 2 you can substitute here and so on since my target is to maximize them which one is the maximum this is here so you can see maximum occurs at of this point and the value is this now we can substitute this f2 s2 value in here what is the equation number three is this one we can substitute this value as s2 square by 4 and what is the value of the s2 we can obtain from the given uh, given stages are there that is s3 minus x2 now again your target is to maximize them how you can maximize them we again take as a y of this we can take the derivatives we can compute them as here now either of this or this are there but clearly says that this value can cannot be possible because if x3 is s3 what is the value what is the value of that this is case of trivial so therefore uh, x3 is my s3 by 2 so once second derivative will be here once you will substitute x3 is my s3 by 3 what is the value of this so it is nothing but my what is the value of this is nothing but my uh, 3 times of this that is nothing but s3 minus of 2 s3 what is that this is nothing but my minus of 2 s3 which is always be less than 0 so if once it is a less than 0 so it can be possible as a maximization so we can again compute the values at these three points at the boundary and the critical points so we will see here so therefore you can see the x2 value is my here x3 value is my here and the given stages are my here so since s3 is given to be equality 10 so s3 is my here you can substitute this s3 value here you can get the value of the x3 you can substitute the value of the x3 and s3 both are here you will get the value of the s2 once you will get the value of the s2 you can substitute the value of the s2 here you will get the value of the x2 once you will get the value of the x2 you can substitute the value of here you will get the value of x1 like here so therefore the optimal answer is my x1 x2 x3 and the value of the z is my Look at the another example is there. Now in this case, the objective function are the additive form, but the constraints are my product form. Again, since there are the three stage problems. So again, you have to look about this constraint. So it means what is your X3? This is nothing but my whatever the constraints are there. What is the S2 is? In this case, what is the variable corresponding to the X1, X2? This is my here and this is the here. So these are the three stages are there. Now what is the value of this is eight. How you find the value of the s2 how you find the value of this this is nothing but s3 divided by x3 how you find the value of this this is nothing but s2 divided by x2 r you can see clearly says that you can see x2 is not be a zero and x3 is non zero r now we can define the functions so from here the function is my minimization so i can write here as a minima minimization in each case so for the x1 we can see the variable corresponding to x1 only you can see here this is the x2 that is a variable corresponding to x1 and x2 both and so on you can substitute the value of the x1 from here what is that this is nothing but my this equation number one we can substitute the value of the x1 that is f1 s1 here so this is nothing but this we can substitute the value of this that is the f2 s2 r here so from these three equations we will try to solve this problem so clearly says that from the equation number one this is independent of the x1 so that is as such r there now we can substitute this f1 s1 value in here equation number two we will get here now how you can minimize again we will take the same procedure we will take y as here we can substitute these uh, can compute these values are here you will get after solving you will get here clearly x2 is a non-zero so once you will this x2 is a root three a root of the s2 you can find this second derivative what will happen this is here can it be always be greater than zero you can easily see this is nothing but s2 square what is the value of the x4 this is nothing but here so what is the answer of this this is 8 which is always be a greater than zero so therefore we can compute the values at of the boundary points critical points and here 
since x2 is 0 is not possible so you can hyphen them and the other values are here so since my target is to minimization which one is the minimum so clearly says that this value is the minimum whatever the value of the s2 are here so this value is minimum here now you can substitute this value here you will get the value of the s3 you can substitute the value of the s2 from the given state that is s3 divided by here again your target is to minimize them you can take as a y you can take them derivatives you will get expression as here similarly you can see that this value is again be a positive you can compute their uh, compute the values at the boundary points and the critical points you will get the uh, minimum occurs at here so the, hence you get the x2 here here you get the x3 from here and the summary of them is this so from the first line you can get s3 is my 8 you can substitute this s3 in this expression you will get the value of the x3 is my 2 once you will get the x3 as a 2 you can substitute here what is the value of the s2 this is 8 divided by 2 is nothing but 4 once you will get the s2 as 4 you can substitute the value here this is my 2 only plus because because s2 x2 is my greater than or equal to 0 once you will get the x2 as here you can substitute this value what is that this is s2 by 2 that is of this so what is the right answer of this problem so x1 is my 2 x2 is this x3 is this so the right answer is my 2 2 2 and 4 12 so this is the way you can solve this problem in a very efficient manner so we will see in our next class how we can solve the discrete uh, dynamic programming for the discrete cases like of here the only restriction is the value of this are my integers till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students happy learning